Hey everyone, this is a quick video and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to fix the Excel issue of your cells not moving. So what I mean by this is when I use my arrow keys, my cells do not move and I am stuck in place. What's happening is I have scroll lock enabled. So I need to turn off scroll lock so that I can continue to scroll to each cell with my arrow keys so I'm not locked into place. There's a few easy ways to do that. If your keyboard has it, there's a scroll lock button similar to caps lock or numbers lock all you need to do is just press that scroll lock button key and scroll lock will turn off my keyboard doesn't have that i don't think a lot of new keyboards have that actually so another method to do that is to press the function key as well as the pause or break key and that is also going to act as the scroll lock key however my keyboard also doesn't have that option either so I am stuck with the third solution, which does work for me. It is to turn on the accessibility on-screen keyboard. And on that keyboard, there is a scroll lock key and I can disable scroll lock that way. So I already actually have the keyboard up and I'm gonna show you how to open it. But just to quickly show you what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open up my on-screen keyboard as you can see on screen. And you can see I already do have scroll lock enabled. So if I go ahead and press scroll lock, I turn it off. And if I go back to Excel, you can see that I can move around with my arrow keys again. And if I open up that keyboard again, I turn scroll lock back on, I'm no longer able to use my arrow keys. So just make sure you have scroll lock disabled to be able to use your arrow keys within Excel again. But to open up the accessibility on screen keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. So there's a couple methods to do that. The first and easiest method is to press the Windows key. And I'm actually gonna open it up on screen. To press this Windows key, as well as the control key and the O key at the same time. So if I actually press Windows, Control, and O, it's actually gonna turn the keyboard off. It's gonna close it, but if I do that again, if I press the Windows key, Control key, and O, it's gonna open up that on-screen accessibility keyboard. But let's say that doesn't work for you. So the other method to open up the accessibility on-screen keyboard is to go into your settings. So to get to settings, go to the Start menu, right-click Start, go to Settings, under settings, go to ease of access if you're on Windows 10. And then under ease of access, scroll down to interaction and keyboard. Now, if you're on Windows 11, it's a little bit different. I believe it just says keyboard there. But if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be under ease of, access, ease of access. It might also be under applications on Windows 11. But go to ease of access or applications and then go and find keyboard under interaction. And then I currently have it open. So if I were to actually go ahead and close that, I'll go to my settings again. What you need to do is just go to this switch button here, use the on-screen keyboard and make sure it is turned on. Once you turn it on, it's going to automatically launch that on-screen keyboard for you. And then just hit that scroll lock button to turn off scroll lock. And that is how you get your cell keys to scroll again if they are locked in place. I hope you found this quick video useful. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in future quick videos.